Elon Musk has been vocal about moving humans to another planet, saying that this will help preserve our species. Elon and scientists have noted that in the decades since the last Apollo moon landing, humans have not been on another world, or even gone past low Earth orbit, an area which is defined as being at an altitude of less than a thousand kilometers, or 621 miles, or as low as 160 kilometers, or 99 miles above Earth. Elon has said that he wants to change this and has said that Mars is the best place to put future generations. He has said that he wants to establish a colony of humans here, and that the ideal situation is to have constant trips to and from Mars. SpaceX, which was founded by Elon Musk, has done some incredible work in recent years, most notably massively bringing down the cost of rockets, and also introducing reusable rockets for future missions. These introductions have allowed the company to cut the costs of their rockets by a considerable amount, but they've also ensured that the rockets were of the highest standard, so much so that companies like NASA often use them for their missions. Space Force has also announced that they'll use SpaceX rockets for their future missions, so if anyone is going to take humans to Mars, it seems like SpaceX will be the ones to do it. Elon said the following, I think there's arguably a great filter that we face, which is whether we will become a multi-planetary species or not. We'll be surprised if out there in our galaxy and others, there are a whole bunch of dead one-planet civilizations that prospered for a while. They might have prospered for millions of years, but then gradually this civilization collapsed for reasons external or internal and that was that. All civilizations go through an arc where they build. They grow up in a technological complexity, but then they don't keep going up. Then over time decline and they fall. This has obviously happened if you're a student of history with many civilizations in the past. You can look at ancient Egypt. 5,000 years ago there was the Great Pyramids of Giza, but then people living there forgot how to build pyramids after a while. Then they forgot how to read hieroglyphics. Most likely we'll go through such an arc ourselves, and we'll be arguably less resilient to recovery because of globalization. Elon continued with the following. For the first time in our four and a half billion year history of Earth, it's been possible to extend life beyond Earth and make life multiplanetary, and this window of opportunity may be open for a long time. I hope it is, or it may be open for a short time, and I think it would be wise for us to assume that it's open for a short time. I'm an optimist, not a pessimist. End quote. Others have agreed that we need to start looking for other places to live outside of Earth, and notes that our window of opportunity may be very small. Scientists have been open about this and have said that the truth is Earth can only sustain a certain amount of people, and that at this current moment it's only a matter of time before something big happens that will threaten life on Earth. In fact, there's many scientists and archaeologists that say around 12,000 years ago, a massive event hit us that pretty much restarted life in many areas, noting that it kicked off a 1,300 year cooling period in the northern hemisphere known as the Younger Dryas. Archaeologist Doug Kennett of the University of Oregon has been vocal about this event, saying the following, Very strong impact indicators are found in the sediments directly above, and often shrouding in the case of Murray Springs the remains of these animals and the people who are hunting them. Is it a comet? Is it a carbonaceous chondrite? Was it fragmented? Was it focused? Based on the distribution of the diamonds, it was certainly large scale. End quote. Something big happened and it's theorized that it had the power to wipe out civilizations. So researchers have said that math will tell you that something of this scale could happen again. One person said the following about Elon's comments. Do we really need to move off this planet or do we need to sort this planet? I think there's a lot of issues that we need to talk about. 
and one of the biggest factors that will affect us in the near future is that of mass starvation. We haven't learned to control our worldwide breeding yet, and mass starvations will reduce dramatically once we start to control our population. But when you say this to people, it never goes down well. There comes a point though when the earth can no longer take it anymore. Perhaps that's why so many people want to leave the earth. Perhaps they know that our planet is under too much stress. End quote. Well, this person said the following. Something definitely needs to happen as our current system isn't going to work in the long run. We aren't ready to have this conversation yet, but the only way we're going to make real change is if we talk about controlling our population. 20 years ago in 2001, there were 1.7 billion less people, over 1.5 billion less mouse to feed. It's a sensitive topic, and one that never gets received well because people think we can just keep going the way we are, but the truth is the situation will only get worse. Experts have agreed that we're exceeding the current capacity of our ecosystem, and that we're consuming the resources of 1.6 planet Earths each day. So yes, we are overpopulated, and we need to put something in place to control this. Whether this is moving up to a satellite or to another planet is up for debate, but change comes down to all of us, and perhaps we should all try to do a little bit to help the world's current issues. End quote. So what do you make of Elon's comments, and do you think that humans need to become an interplanetary species? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.